In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the above property which is written which is property number 5. We already know what the property says and now we have a numerical problem based on this property. Let's see what the question is and let's get started with the solution. It says that use the above property for a determinant. The above property is what? It says that if in a determinant any row or any column is such that the elements are expressed as the sum, what you can do is you can separate the determinants. So that is what we are going to do. So this determinant which you have will be solved with the help of the above property. Let's see how. If you have seen the previous video, this video becomes very easy to understand. You have second row as the sum of two elements k's. So you can split it. Split as what? PQR, PQR and XYZ. How? Let's see. You know that two elements sum is given, two elements sum is given, two elements sum is given. Just split it. PQR will be going in the first determinant. In the second determinant, you have the first row intact, you have the third row intact. What is changing? PQR, already in the previous determinant you got. So in this determinant, it will be 2x, 2y, 2z, right? Now, this determinant, as you can see, has identical rows. The first row and the second row is equal. And from the previous properties that we understood earlier, if any two rows are identical or any two columns are identical, the value of the determinant is what? It is 0. So this is 0. Plus, what is the case here? The case is that the third row and the second row have proportional elements. This is x, this is x multiplied by 2. This is y, this is y multiplied by 2. This is z, this is z multiplied by 2. So even in this case, what will be the answer? The answer will be 0. Why? Because 2 can be taken out as common. So if 2 is common, x, y, z, x, y, z. Identical rows again. So the answer here also is 0. Now everybody knows what is 0 plus 0? It is 0. So the answer to this question of determinants based on the property number 5 is 0.